Okay, in this video, I want to demonstrate these new headsets that I have received. They have a nice light on the side, as you can see. They rotate in different uh, light uh, colors. Let's see, computer, studio off. Okay. And that is on both ears, as you can see. And actually on the middle piece as well. Computer. Studio on. Okay. And the microphone here is a very short extension here. The these are really these got like uh, rubber uh, hoses on it here, but it's got metal actually underneath it. It's just got a plastic hose like covering it. Uh, they are adjustable for different uh, head size. You do not have to adjust them in and out. It automatically does it because it has the, let's see here, let me show you. they automatically adjust as you put it on your head. Further you push it down, more they actually pull out right here. The sound is very good. Um, listening to music, podcast, video, pretty much anything you listen to, it sounds real good. It's got nice um, uh, cancellation capability of making it nice atmosphere if there's noise going on and pretty much you don't hear it. Um, it is USB controlled. You plug it into USB. It did not have to install a driver. Just plug and play. I plugged it in, went into my control, told it to use the microphone and the headset uh, as the default devices and it's working. Here I am with OBS. I changed the input on it to this headset and it's working fine. I had to adjust the sound gate just a little bit because these are just not as potent as this is because I have a mixer on this so I can actually control it. Nor is it um, as strong as uh, these because this is goes through a mixer as well. These are a standalone controlled uh, headset. Everything's trying to fall off my arm here. There we go. Um, now you can go into your control, volume control panel and adjust the audio itself. It has a few extra controls in there where you can actually control and boost the microphone here, boost the the listening capability. Um, you don't have like bass and treble or anything like that, but there's other features that you can turn on and off a boost and treble and you know filters and stuff like that to get it to a desired um, sound that you need for whatever you're using it for for gaming or making videos like this I have not made a podcast with it but I have opened up the program that I use to record my podcast just to play around with it um, it did not work at first but after I readjusted some in my control panel it sounded fine I didn't have to edit the video of the quality of the audio like there's too much static or too much bass, you know, muffled or anything like that. After I adjusted it, 
it worked fine and I have not touched it since and that's prior to this video and I left settings as it is and I have not listened to it because I'm still recording this video I'll listen to it when I get finished and see and if it does I'll adjust it and make it work for this but I hopefully I can find a mutual setting for it so don't matter what I use or listen to I don't have to go into the control panel and keep adjusting things in it usually all the devices I got sent to me usually I can find that mutual um, location on the quality of the audio and the recording and just leave it and I don't think I'm going to find any different on this one it's just got to find that certain mutual location and also not only you can control the audio by the volume icon on your desktop right back here there's a volume roll switch that you can actually control the audio of the earpieces not the microphone but the earpieces right here on back here the side that has the cord on it you can actually roll it up and the volume will be turned down you roll it down and it will actually turn the volume up which seems kind of backwards if you want the volume up you would have to roll it up but it seems like you know it's the very opposite you roll it down the volume is actually increased but that's no big deal you just you know roll it one way or the other and if it goes if you wanted it increased and you start rolling it goes the opposite direction you just flip and just start going the other direction so it's not a big issue but it fits nicely on the ears it's got a lot of cushion as you can see left even and it's not really tight on the ears I sat here and played with it for like an um, hour and a half and when I took them off it didn't feel like my ears were st it still had actually ear head set actually on my head um, it didn't leave red rings on my side of my face like it's pushing in so hard they're very comfortable has um, 7.1 surround sound um, imaging so that makes a big difference when you're listening to games or you're listening to a video that is in a big location it, it gives you that echo sound more vivient makes you feel like you're really there and if you're watching a video that's in a studio that somebody just sit in front of the camera and got a microphone and they got the uh, isolating egg crates all on the wall and everything it just makes it sound so realistic um, crisp crystal clear sound um, the only thing I found that um, basically disappointed in is I looked online and it actually advertises that you can actually use this on your smartphone or your tablet well it's only USB port there's no extra cord on it that you can or adapter that you can plug the USB in and get it to plug into a um, smartphone that has one of these on it or a tablet it does not have that on it even though the piece of paper the little pamphlet that came in the bag oh that's another thing comes in this nice bag and it's a nice I don't know what that's made out of maybe maybe I don't think that's real leather probably vinyl the way it looks because I used to uh, own a car stereo business and we used to use vinyl to wrap boxes and, and doors and stuff like that and that's what the material looks like and it smells like too it smells like the rubber uh, that the uh, it does not smell like leather at all it smells that that rubber uh, vinyl smell to it and it has 
like uh, pulling strings to actually um, close it up which is a nice big bag as you can imagine you see the headset that I have and it fits in this bag and then you can pull the strings and it actually will close it will fit and these do not fold up they they do not fold up here or anything they're just as they are and as I was saying as soon as I quit dropping it onto the floor this little pamphlet that comes in the bag with the headset indicates that it has three cords off the end of it instead of just USB as you can see here as you can see the top one there it shows the USB and then if so I can get it to focus come on focus let me get something to focus make that thing focused here a little bit see one of them says it's supposed to be for the audio and one's supposed to be the power for the light let's see what that says I don't have my that's such a small writing on that thing can't see it with my uh, computer glasses the um, first one says power is usually defined as plural optical instrument consisting of a the um, USB is supposed to be the power for the LED lights. One of the cords the uh, supposed to plug in and be the microphone, and one is for the audio, which is green, and and the other one is red. Just like if you get a microphone, plug it in your computer, um, it has that on it. One red, one green, just like on the back of your uh, computer. Uh, then they have at the bottom where it's supposed to be an adapter down here as you can see at the bottom which these here is the audio of the microphone and the audio of the speaker one red one green then this adapter you're supposed to plug them two into here and it converts it over to a TRRS which is supposed to be for a cell phone it's not that way it's USB on the end that's it whoo try to see that screen with these glasses ain't gonna work put these back on there we go it does not have a way to plug it into a smartphone even though everywhere I looked it says it has it I think what happened they put these in with these and this is not the upgrade as this here says it says um, somewhere on, somewhere on here or somewhere I saw that it says it's supposed to be upgrade and you see on the headset they got on here the microphone extends out a good bit as well so that might be the new upgraded one I don't know but I know that it only has one cord and it has one optional a plug and it's USB which works fine but if somebody sees this online and online even on Amazon it says it can do tablets and uh, smartphones and the computer the laptops all that well I don't see how it can do that when it's only got USB it don't say that you have to buy adapter it don't show a um, adapter that plugs into a smartphone that converts it over to USB none of that it just shows three cords options on the end and it says the USB is supposed to be lighting up the lights well the headphone set I just got doing a review on not too long ago that I gave to my son it does have that option it has these options it has the USB which does nothing but turn the lights on and then it's got the uh, eighth plug or quarter plug whatever that is for smartphones and tablets and stuff it has them on it and he can use it on his computer he can use it on his smartphone his game consoles but this one computer or 
laptop. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. So that's the only thing I saw wrong with the listing. And they asked me to do a review and they sent an email says yes it's supposed to do all that and i looked on they should give me a link on amazon and it lists it there as well to do smartphones and tablets computers laptops and all that good stuff they said it it says it online when i get it it does not i sent them a notification email to let them know that it's not what it says it is they probably got misinformed as well so I'm trying to let them know so it can be rectified and fixed so nobody else will be misled I think what happened is they just put this in the box or the bag that supposed to go with the new ones that does have that option but if you want a headset with a microphone on it has nice colors that keeps rainbowing through all the colors it's nice on the ears self-adjusting or whatever head you got if you got hair up there you got big hair up there you got a small head big head and very durable because this is nice and this is solid metal in here covered with the plastic like tubing nice long cord I mean it's got a cord on there like crazy and from here to my computer is another let's see from here to my computer going that direction is another two feet plus this that's another foot another foot another foot another foot so you can add that up and see how long the cord is and it's not no skinny little rink dink cord I mean it's very durable here is a cord that goes to mainly a smartphone to charge it with you see how thick that is compared to that compared to right there that is a significant difference it's almost like they got one of them inside of a tubing because I can feel like this is a tubing on top of something else in there but it's very durable very flexible very comfortable on the head and the ears the audio, if you adjust it in the settings, which you just go to your uh, icon there and go into the record and the playback devices and go into properties and adjust it, whatever options are all in there, works fine. But it's misleading online um, when it says it can plug into your smartphone which I don't see where it does because it does not have what this says it does but that's my review on this item and if you like this item look into the description below it gives you a straight link as long as it's still up on Amazon it is affiliate link and if you want more information and you see what I'm talking about that it does not have but one cord and in the picture, it has just USB. But in the description over to the right, it describes that it actually uses on the other devices. But go take a look yourself. If you want something that has nice long cord, plugs in the USB, good on the ears, nice and sturdy built, and you see how the audio sounds, and I did not edit any of the audio, it's raw straight from the microphone straight to the video and then upload it so you get the raw audio as what it can do and that is adjusting the properties on this 
in the control panel of the uh, sound card. So go take a look at it and see what you think. Maybe it's something for you. It's a very inexpensive item. It's not no $70, $80 item, even though it, it does look like it would be. But when I saw the price after they sent it to me to do a review, and when I pulled it out of the bag, I thought it's going to be, you know, really expensive. But when I looked at it online and saw the price, it kind of surprised me. Then I tried it, and it don't sound like a cheap headset. It sounds real good. Go check it out, and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Take care.